Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Lego Lover 117 channel. Welcome back to Collection Month. Had a couple people ask me in the comments last week, Hey, you put out an audio commentary. Don't you know it's Collection Month? Of course I know it's Collection Month. I just didn't have anything ready for last week. So you got an audio commentary. So Collection Month is gonna go until the first week in November. You're still getting four videos, just not all of them in October, if that makes sense. Just like last year, we're starting off with my complete CD collection. This one was re really fun to shoot last year, so I figured, hey, why not do it for a second time? These are not in any particular order. I just pulled them off the shelves where I keep them and just threw them down into these two stacks as evidenced by the fact that our first CD here is the Dark Knight soundtrack. Um, I love film soundtracks. I love film scores as well, so I'll pretty much buy any film soundtrack or score that I find. However, this next soundtrack, the Batman 1989 soundtrack with all Prince music on it, this one I will throw on on a rainy day because this soundtrack is awesome. And you can't have that without the actual movie score by Danny Elfman. This one's not in the best shape, but it still plays very well. I mean, just look at that photo of Michael Keaton there. Just look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. We have another soundtrack. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Music in this movie is absolutely stupendous. This has a kick-ass score to it. I mean, that main theme just is so catchy. I love it. Speaking of pirates, I also have this Ultimate Swashbuckler 10 Song CD Collection, which is the songs from the Pirates of the, the Caribbean ride in Disney World and Land. Uh, Hope, my fiance, loves the Pirates ride, so I bought this primarily for her to have access to to this music, but these songs are fun too. I feel like every CD collection should have this next album and it feels like everybody does. Uh, it's Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I think I bought this a few months after the first collection video aired. I have not heard this album yet. I haven't had a chance to listen to it, but from what people tell me, Pink Floyd is amazing. Another soundtrack here for you, a Blues Brothers soundtrack. Need I say more? And here's Bill and Ted's Bonus Journey, the soundtrack. This one's got some pretty great songs on it. You got Shouted Out by Slaughter, Dream of a New Day by Reggie Cousin. You have Go to Hell by Megadeth. I mean, it's a pretty good soundtrack. I love the Bill and Ted movies. Oh, uh, here's a really great soundtrack, the Lilo and Stitch soundtrack. featuring Elvis, Winona, and the 18s. And then the score is by Alan Silvestri. Here's a controversial opinion. I kind of like Winona's take on burning love more than Elvis's. That might be sacrilegious to some Elvis fans out there. Another soundtrack, Space Jam. How, how, how in the world could I not have the Space Jam soundtrack? You got Seal with Fly Like an Eagle. Coolio, the winner. R.I.P. Coolio. He just recently passed away. That Another kick-ass soundtrack, Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Absolutely amazing stuff on here. Another Batman soundtrack, the Lego Batman movie soundtrack. This one is two discs. You get the score on the first... No, you get the soundtrack on the first disc and then some of the score on the, the second one. This is a really cool value for money there. Why don't we step away from soundtracks for just a moment and get into some comedy specials. Here is Bob and Tom, Factory Air. For some odd reason, you've never heard Bob and Tom stuff. Very funny. My dad used to take me to school in the mornings when I was a freshman in high school, and we would listen to Bob and Tom on the way there, and both of us were just cracking up the entire way. Great, great stuff from them. I have another one of their albums, too. This one's Fun House. Actually, I have one sketch from them that you need to go and check out. Just look up Paging Richard Smoker. If you don't like that sketch, you won't like Bob and Tom. Ah, here we go. Here's a classic that every Thomas fan knows. George Carlin, what am I doing in New Jersey? Do I even need to uh, 
say that George Carlin is a great comedian. His stuff is fantastic. This might be one of my favorite albums from him. Uh, George Carlin Complaints and Grievances. And then You Are All Diseased. I think this one has... Yes. The, the, this one has my favorite set from him. The Airport Security Sketch. That one is great. Or I guess it's not a sketch. It's a... It's a set. You should you should need to listen to the airport security section. That one that one's fantastic. Here's the bulk of my ACDC stuff. We got High Voltage, Highway to Hell, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Features the song Big Balls. <laughs> need I say more about that one? If you want blood, you got it. This one I don't have a case for, but it's the Razor's Edge. Let There Be Rock. Probably one of their most famous albums. It's Back in Black, along with one of their most famous songs. Just a good album all the way around. Fly on the Wall. For those about to rock, ACDC Live. Ball Breaker. Stiff Upper Lip. This is a bonus CD. It's called Plug Me In. With a couple of live performances from them. I think this came in a set. I bought it on eBay just by itself. Yeah, it comes in a DVD set. You can see it pictured on the back there. Again, I just bought it on eBay just by itself. Black Ice? My parents actually got to see ACDC uh, live during the Black Ice tour back in, I think, 2008? 2009, maybe? They said it was awesome, and I unfortunately never got to see them because they're not touring anymore, which sucks because they're my favorite band, as I'm sure you can tell, as by the numerous number of albums I own from them. And then here's Rock or Bust. I remember this one coming out when I was a freshman in high school, I'm pretty sure. My mom pre-ordered this on Amazon, and it's really good. I think it's it might be one of their best, honestly. Let's move back over to the other stack here. We've got The Engine Themes Volume 2 from Mike O'Donnell, one of the original composers on the Thomas and Friends series. And I've also got the third volume. I have volumes 1 and 4 on my way to me from Mike. They're not here yet at the time of recording this, but they will be in next year's CD. And hopefully by that time, I'll have five and six as well. I have this compilation of some patriotic songs called God Bless America. I think this came out around the time of 9-11 because it's got uh, for the benefit of the Twin Towers Fund down there at the bottom. This one's interesting. I found this at a Goodwill. Um, songs from the Hundred Acre Wood. It was a Huggies promotional thing. And then... This is a two-sided thing, so I've got another disc here. This is like just random cartoon themes. This was a Kellogg's CD as well. Again, I found this at Goodwill. Uh, they only charged me 99 cents for it because I guess they didn't know there was another disc back there. This only has like three songs per CD, and I guess they were a promotional thing. This right here is the bane of my existence as a music CD person. Uh, this is the Madagascar soundtrack, but this CD is scratched to absolute crap. Now I know why it was on clearance for a dollar at Half Price Books. Save your receipts, people. I could have got my dollar back and I wouldn't have to deal with having this piece of junk. I mean, the, the, the soundtrack is not bad. Uh, it's got like uh, Hawaii Five-0, Chariots of Fire, Staying Alive. Here's another artist that I just absolutely love in every way, shape, and form is Brad Paisley, and I have no qualms about admitting that. This guy makes great music. He actually gives new twists to the country genre. And yes, I like country music. Don't come at me. I'm from I'm from Kentucky. I'm, I've been raised on country music. I don't think it's all bad. Gotta have some Elvis in here. Elvis, 30 number one hits. Pretty much every single one of his famous songs. Here's another soundtrack, Reservoir Dogs. Great movie and a great soundtrack. And another soundtrack, we've got the Simpsons movie soundtrack. I saw 
the, the, the desk was cool because it's got this this slip cover on it and apparently the previous owner's name on it too um but this is this is a cool package i've never seen the simpsons movie i haven't seen past season five of that show i've got this weird sampler cd i think this came in like a dvd pack or something it's from walk the line the J johnny cash biopic it has some of the songs from the soundtrack sung by joaquin phoenix who by the way gives an absolutely beautiful performance as mr johnny cash that's another artist that i just absolutely love johnny cash is amazing here is one of my only two kid rock albums rebel soul here this one was primarily just because I found it at a Goodwill and it was 99 cents. It's the Fellowship of the Ring soundtrack. I don't really care much for Lord of the Rings. I might give this away to a friend or something. I know somebody uh, that really likes the Lord of the Rings. I don't really have much use for it. I mean, they're good movies, but I don't really care much about the score, to be honest. It's not like Star Wars or like Indiana Jones that have just great movie scores that I would love to hear all the time got a couple more brad paisley albums here got part two and one of my favorites from him time well wasted that song is very catchy well it was time well wasted and there's no way i trade a few more things that i could have crossed off my list for a day that i'll never forget no i didn't get a thing done but I sure soaked up every minute of the memory we were making. And I count it all as time well wasted. You don't have to tell me that you hated that. I hated that too. <laughs> People tell me I'm good at singing. I don't know. I Maybe I'm average, but I'm not great. Oh, here's another George Carlin album. Place for my stuff. This one I haven't heard in full yet. I think I heard the opening and Place for My Stuff segment, but I haven't heard the entire thing yet. Ooh, speaking of Star Wars, here's the first Star Wars soundtrack. We got Rogue One. I have all of the Star Wars soundtracks, so spoiler alert for later. Oh, this one needs a case. This is the greatest hits from Bob and Tom. I don't know why I only have the first disc. Maybe my dad has it somewhere in the basement, but that needs a case for it. This is my only Clash album, Combat Rock. Should I Stay or Should I Go was made famous by Stranger Things. <laughs> but it's a good song. Also there, I Fought the Law song. That was pretty good too. That was at the end of uh, Robocop 2014. That's how I found out about the Clash. Here's Appetite for D Destruction, Guns N' Roses. Most of this album was used in Thor Love and Thunder, and I couldn't be happier about it. Whoa, sweet child of mine. Here's Montley Crew, Kickstart. No, this is Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> Why did I think this was Kickstart My Heart? It, is that a song even on this album? Yeah, it is. But no, this is Dr. Feelgood. He's the one they call Dr. Feelgood. He's the one that makes you feel all right. He's the one they call Dr. Feelgood. He's going to be your Frankenstein. I'm a Spongebob fan, so I've got this album here. This is the original theme highlights. Spongebob theme, uh, the loop-de-loop -loop song, Texas song, pre-hibernation, ripped pants, fun song, and then Spongebob scaredy pants, which is appropriate for Halloween coming up here soon. Here's another album I found at a Goodwill. It's the Phineas and Ferb album. This is from like season one. This show had some really good music to it. I always really liked the uh, Truck Driving Girl song. I think this is on this album, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here it is. It's track 16. She's a truck driving girl. She's a truck driving girl. Oh, I guess we'll knock out the rest of the ACDC stuff. Most of it's right here. Got Blow Up Your Video, Powerage, Who Made Who, and Flick of the Switch. Picked all four of those up at a half price books not too long ago. They're some of the only albums I had left uh, to complete my ACDC collection. And then here is Motley Crue's Greatest Hits. And then here's the other Kid Rock album I have, uh, Rock and Roll Jesus. I think this is season two of Game of Thrones. This might have been a half-price books find or maybe a Goodwill find, but I don't know. 
Game of Thrones is pretty much soured for me because of how bad season eight was. Those first seven seasons are some of the greatest stuff that HBO has ever made, but man, they really shit the bed with season eight. I haven't even watched uh, House of the Dragon yet, primarily because of that. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> we got the Toy Story soundtrack. Great songs on here, most of it by Randy Newman, but pretty fun. You got a friend in me. Here's another Brad Paisley album, Moonshine in the Trunk. Not truck. For the longest time, I thought it was truck, but no, it's trunk. Let me read that right. Oh, here's Thomas' uh, CD, Thomas's Train Yard Tracks. I grew up with this CD, but I had to buy this loose on eBay because I lost mine a long ass time ago. And I guess I should go ahead and say I have like three or four of those CD samplers that are inside of some of my home media products that are in my closet right now. Those aren't going to be featured here because I don't feel like digging those out. Here's another Goodwill find, I think. This was VeggieTales Sing Along. Don't worry, I did not, I did not pay $14.99 for this. This is from a game store. Uh, that's Rogue Leader on GameCube. I just put this in there because I needed a case for it to keep it safe. And then here's another Goodwill find. 25 favorite silly songs. I'm going to raise my kids on those songs, just like I was raised. Let's go back over to this stack here. We got Mortal Kombat, the album. This movie is just pure 90s fun, and the soundtrack is kick-ass. Not gonna lie. That whole Mortal Kombat! Doom, 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 It just makes me just want to jump up and go punch somebody. Here's one of my Bon Jovi albums, Lost Highway. I just picked this next one up a few days ago prior to recording this video but it's the shadows of the empire soundtrack they were really pushing this whole shadows of the empire thing during the 90s there was a video game a book a comic series and even a soundtrack made for it but not a movie it was a movie without a movie but it's really cool to finally own that it was one of the only soundtracks i still needed from star wars Here's a great movie and a pretty good soundtrack, Cars 3. I picked that up at Toys R Us back in 2017, I think. And another Brad Paisley album, This Is Country Music. We're getting to the bottom of my AC DC stuff, but this is their latest album. It's called Power Up, and it's amazing. And then I think this is my last Brad Paisley album. Let's get a little mud on the tires this one has i think mine and hope's favorite song from him yet number four little moments that that song basically describes our relationship and it's very special to us and then here's an album from a local band called the louisville crashers actually they're just the crashers now but their album is the louisville crashers uh they're very good i've used some of their stuff in a couple vlogs you should go and check them out if you haven't already, because they're great. We've seen them in concert quite a few times. And then here's a film that I think is just amazing and also has a kick-ass soundtrack, Cars. Let's get into some Marvel stuff. Here's Awesome Mix Volume 1 from Guardians of the Galaxy. And then Awesome Mix Volume 2. I don't have that cosmic next one that's from like the guardians of the galaxy cartoon series i don't know that one just seems like a bunch of repeats and i've got the avengers infinity war soundtrack and the end game one great music on both of those on infinity war the track number 15 forge and then track 12 even for you such such emotional music and then endgame how could i not talk about portals track number 23 and then man man on end track 28 just great music on both of those movies and great movies i i love both of those so much okay had to get the camera a bit lower here because we're running out of cds to talk about jerry seinfeld i'm telling you for the last time this is a great uh stand-up comedy show from him we have the original iCarly soundtrack i think i got this at a game exchange do you guys know that they sell cds now i think i got that there for astronomically cheap 
And then The Greatest Hits from Bon Jovi. And I Lied to You. There is another Brad Paisley album here. Who Needs Pictures? I'm a Christian, so we got to have some Christian representation here. Chris Tomlin, And If Our God Is For Us. You can see I got that on clearance at Half Price Books for a dollar. Great album, too. That one's really good. And then I, for some reason, have gotten into Billy Currington. He's a great artist, too. And then probably, if not the greatest film composer of all time, one of the greatest, John Williams. I got his album here, his greatest hits from 1969 to 1999. This has pretty much every major theme he's ever done on it. And it has this cool slipcase on it that that's like a film reel. Because I'm a crazy person, I own the two-disc version of a AC DC Live. Just more live songs from them. And I still have this. This was in the collection last year because technically it's a CD. Uh, this came with my dad's Pontiac Bonneville when he got it from my grandfather. And then he gave it to me, so I got the the instructional CD. Still have it. I'm not quite sure what it's used for, but I still have it. I don't have the car. Uh, that was donated to the Veterans Fund and is probably scrapped right now because it didn't run worth a shit. And here's another Louisville Crashers album, Demo Songs for Nashville. Or I guess Crashers. I keep wanting to call them the Louisville Crashers because that's, that's how I knew them, but now they're just the Crashers. I mentioned earlier how much I love Johnny Cash, and here's the legend of Johnny Cash. Oh, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Cross the deserts, bear, man. I breathe the mountain air, man. The travel I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. AC DC Live at River Plate. I think this might be their best live album that they've ever done. Ah, here's disc two. From the greatest hits of Bob and Tom. I should get a case for disc one, but I got both of them now. Yay. This is a weird one. This is the many faces of Motley Crue. This isn't them. This is a bunch of cover songs. Or it's a bunch of people doing covers of Motley Crue songs, but it's not them. I don't know. I bought it at Walmart for like $7. I might put it up on eBay because I don't really need it or trade it in somewhere. Because I don't really want it anymore. If I'm not mistaken, this is the last George Carlin album I have. This is classic gold. It's in a thick CD case here because it's two discs. Here we have some more recent purchases. I just picked up the Muppets soundtrack from 2011. Great movie and a great soundtrack. Life's a happy song when there's someone by your side to sing along. Okay, had to lower the camera again because we don't have a lot left to go through here. But these actually came uh, free of charge. This is the Solo soundtrack and the Clone Wars soundtrack. These I got from a person named Matthew uh, in the Star Wars Home v v Video Collectors Group. That's run by a guy known as Nathan P. Butler. If you know him, you probably know him from me because I've mentioned that he was the inspiration for Thomas and Friends Home Media Reviews. He runs a, he runs what's called ButlerCon, which happens every year. He just gives away a bunch of the extra stuff that he's come across in his collection for just the cost of shipping. And Matthew had some soundtracks that he didn't want uh so he gave them to me for the cost of shipping so i guess technically they're not free uh but really really nice guy thank you matthew if you ever uh see this collection uh these have a great home these i just picked up about a week ago here's the la la land soundtrack i got that at barnes and noble for 7.99 extraordinarily cheap that movie was really good me and hope saw that in theaters back in i think 2020 and then another soundtrack I just picked up, Jurassic Park. Got it same day as La La Land. And also for $8. The biggest movie of 2022 right here, Top Gun Maverick. Great soundtrack as well. It's got Danger Zone on it. I mean, how could I not buy it? Can't wait for that 4K to finally hit. That's going to look 
absolutely amazing. Ooh, gotta stretch my legs a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can feel blood flow returning to my toes. <laughs> you guys think these videos are easy to shoot? Uh, they're not. I'm sitting crisscross for what feels like forever. Let's just think happy thoughts. Think about when this is going to be over. Let's return my legs to their spot. Okay. We just got a few few more left here. Uh, here's Jailbreak from ACDC. That was one of the last ones I think I needed to complete that collection. We got Michael Jackson, number ones. The, the greatest hits from Aerosmith. And then Van Halen. Just Van Halen. <laughs> I don't know what this album is called. I think it's just Van Halen, seriously. And then we've only got nine more CDs to go, but these are some of my favorites. This is the mainline Star Wars soundtracks. I've got all of them here. You got Phantom Menace. You know what? This camera angle is just, just odd. We're going to pick it up for this. You got Phantom Menace right here. The Yoda variant of Attack of the Clones. Uh, Revenge of the Sith. The lenticular cover of A New Hope, the two CD set. Same thing with The Empire Strikes Back. Same thing with Return of the Jedi. These are not easy to come by. So I'm really happy that I was fortunate uh, enough to, I think I found this one in store, and these two I got for pretty cheap on eBay. And then finally, Force Awakens. That's not The Last Jedi. Whoopsie. The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. So folks, that's it. That is my complete CD collection. All half an hour of it. Oh. This video is probably going to be more than a half hour. If it's anything less than that, I'm going to be very surprised. I want to thank you all so very much for watching. And if you all could please say sorry to my poor legs because it took forever for the blood to return to them, especially my toes. Some of them were turning purple by the end of this video, but it's not alarming. It's fine. I'm doing it for content. Thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Keeping up with the Joneses, where they're all... No, 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 don't start filming again.